Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're taking a look at iOS 11, which was announced earlier today at Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference on June 5th, 2017. It looks a lot different, and if you're excited for the new interface changes and everything else that comes along with iOS 11, make sure to smash that like button down below, and of course subscribe for everything else you'd want to see on iOS 11 in the future. Alrighty, so there is a lot to talk about in regards to iOS 11, but I want to kick it off with new app icons. You can see right off the bat, iTunes and App Store look a little bit different on your device than you are used to seeing with iOS 10 or iOS 9, because as far as overall design language goes, not a whole lot changed. With iOS 10, we saw new bolder versions of the music app and the news app. When you compared it to things like settings or messages, they still looked just like iOS 7. Apple has changed that in iOS 11, and a lot of the things look similar, not like the same app, but the design language of that bold, punchy look is present almost everywhere, which I'm a big fan of and I want to hear your thoughts about down below. Do you like the new look of iOS 11 or would you rather have it look more like iOS 9 and iOS 7 like it has in the past? Personally, I'm a really big fan of these updates because it makes everything feel fresh. And when you're going in and out of these apps, you're going to notice a few other things as well. There are some new app icons like you can see on screen right here. One more that I want to point out is the calculator app. It looks well like a calculator now. Watch what happens when you go in and out of these apps. The app opening and closing animation is a lot different, and all I can say is that this looks incredible. It feels like you're using a new version of iOS. It doesn't feel like the same thing year in and year out that hasn't changed in quite some time. It feels like something new, and I think that's a big part of this update that you're gonna keep seeing resurface, is that it feels and looks like something different, even though at its core, it does remain the same. Now with every new version of iOS comes new wallpapers, and I was really hoping for a lot to choose from this time, but for whatever reason, Apple only added this one that looks like a beach, very similar to the iOS 10 wallpaper, only instead of just focusing on the bluish green water, we see some yellow sand as well. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'll warm up to it, but definitely nothing to blow me away. It looks kind of standard and nothing that really stands out as a distinct wallpaper. As soon as I get my hands on a full res version of this, I'll be sure to link it up here in the top right hand corner of the screen or down below in the description so all of you can go ahead and download it for yourselves but I don't know, overall it's okay and it's not that big of an upgrade. Moving on, there's actually another side of the iOS 11 store that we should briefly talk about. It's the iPad features. Apple went all out this year. On stage they were talking about iOS 11, said that was it, took a break, and then announced a new 10.5 inch iPad Pro and highlighted new features on iOS 11 specifically for the iPad. And long story short, they are amazing. They are going to change the way I think finally the way you use your iPad. It's not minor, it's not just split view. There's crazy stuff like drag and drop and a new dock that dynamically changes. There's so much to cover that I wanna go ahead and make a separate video just on these iPad features later, so stay tuned for that. There are two other big changes that we need to talk about as well, and the first is with Control Center. It looks really different than it did before, and you access it and it takes up almost an entire page now rather than just sliding over your screen. I've seen a lot of criticism of Control Center already just because it looks kind of like it was thrown together the night before. But at the same time, I like that there are a few extra toggles now, and overall, I think it's going to be a good change in the long run. It just is a little bit weird to get used to now. And then also, we need to talk about Notification Center because it's kind of gone. If you take your finger from the status bar and swipe down like we have almost forever, I think since iOS 5 or 6, it takes you to the lock screen. And once you're here, you can actually swipe up to view your notifications. So personally, I'm not a big fan of this because now it's gonna basically take an extra step just to get to something that only took one step in previous versions of iOS. It's a nice gesture. I think it's cool that it takes you to the lock screen, but will definitely take some getting used to. But overall, this is a quick first look at iOS 11. And as always, I wanna hear your thoughts. Is this the big upgrade that you have been waiting for? Or were you expecting something just a little bit different? For me, it's somewhere in between. But as of what I'm seeing right now, I am a big fan. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button down below. And of course, subscribe for everything you wanna see related to iOS 11 in the future. I've been Sam, stay tuned for more today for the rest of WWDC 2017 coverage, and I will talk to all of you in the next one.